Oh, lucky grenade. Okay, so I have enemies on my left. So I'm going to circle around. I'm not going on the main front. It's way too risky and messy. Okay, I'm just going to hug the wall. Should have enough time to capture this point before the enemy arrives. Or maybe not. I'll try that again. Well, the enemy is in front of me now, so this is going to be harder. Again, I'm avoiding direct confrontation. Yeah, with a shotgun I don't have that much chances. Alright, now I change. Now this is... This is the left, the flank. There's more enemies here. Yeah, this is the thing on Team that much the situation changes very quickly, which I kind of like. You're forced to move around and ab update your approaches, so it's it's not boring for me. With a fixed starting point like in the. Search and destroy. Basically, go with a single strategy. I mean, not a single strategy, but your approaches are very limited. Recently on the True Gaming there was a post, a guy asking about shotguns and one of the replies was about that, I mean why the shotguns aren't utilized more, and one of the guys had a nice insight into this I liked, his post, uh, and I like his reply, and he said that, uh, that there is no point in using uh, shotguns because the medium range weapons like assault pretty much cover every range so they're universal I mean there's no trade-off in using them while with shotguns you can only cover the close range Yeah, should be able to capture this. Now oh, they're flanking me. I'm screwed. Yeah, this is the strategy on search and destroy, which I don't like. Basically, you try to find the ways to kill the enemy when they are on the respawn. So, like, grenades to the other side and shots through the wall so they can kill them just on the respawn. Before they can even run out. You're 
Yeah, firing through the walls in Call of Duty is, is a bit ridiculous. It penetrates a bit too much. Okay, they want to play only on the snipers. Not, not particularly skilled on the snipers, however, I'll indulge the requests. This is going to be a bit chaotic. Trying to hit each other most of the time. Okay, I still remember how to play this game. Should be clear. Okay, I can run to the other the side. Ha! Waited for it. It's important to. to time this stuff when you want to knife an enemy. Yeah, the guys can find a ways to get pretty much everywhere. The most common is uh, somewhere here. Well, on that building. I don't really. Uh, I don't know how to, and I don't think I want to know because it takes too much time to get there. And I'd rather be mobile, walk around the map. Better wait for him than, than rush. UAV recon standing by. Our UAV is online. Loading level. Yeah, the loading times in Battlefield 3 are quite uh, long. Well, my other problem with Battlefield is that there are um, quite many players and. Uh, Quite often I see the servers are uh, full. Well, right now there's a new ERC, so I guess everybody's drinking, so there is some space, but sometimes I can see even 10 people in the queue, and that's, that's crazy. Well, other thing I don't like um, about Battlefield, maybe general about multiplayer games, is how to balance. Because I prefer to play on the losing side. Playing on the winning is boring. Just there's nothing to do. Well, right now I'm in luck and I'm on the losing side. I'm going to approach the hill that is D. There's some enemies there, but I haven't respawned on D to be able to uh, not appear on the battlefield. I mean, in the middle of a firefight. Well, there's enemy tank and enemy jeep, so... I'm not staying here. Yeah, the tank doesn't like me. Okay, they got him. D is being taken, so let's see what I can do. Okay, I'll just wait for this guy to die. Yeah. 
when you're focusing on reviving the enemies here, uh, you're reviving the friendlies here, not focusing on the enemies. But reviving the friendlies is quite rewarding. 100 points, same as killing enemy. If you pick a busy server with a tight map like Metro and you just keep reviving, then you can quickly get to the first place on the score. Let's go table. that I don't like uh, auto balance and the reason I don't like auto balance is that it always tries to keep even number of players I would prefer if it would keep uh, more players on the losing side so it would balance in the favor of the losing side so what I find enjoyable in these games is, is this competition on even level like chasing the rabbit all the time and not really catching it by catching it I mean winning or losing when one side is totally winning when your side is totally winning then then there's nothing to do and when your side is totally losing you're pushed and you can't do anything just die on respawn all the time so the middle ground, but to keep the middle ground is kind of hard and out of balance is, is not in favor of it. Okay, so in battlefield you can change between uh, auto firing mode and single firing mode using the V key. However, I often find myself using the I mean, I often find myself in situations where I have the wrong mode. Like here, close combat and I have single. It's one of the... these things with Murphy Law. If I pick Medic, then I will spot a tank. Then if I pick uh, Engineer, Sniper will kill me. If I pick then a sniper, then a helicopter will kill me. It's a circle of life. Okay, let's see. Okay, I was saying, yeah. Oh, I just left B and it got taken. Huh. They don't know about me, then I can sneak up and kill someone. Yes. Ah, almost. But I could harvest them here. Yeah, I like the Metro when there aren't many players. So it's, well, I think in my opinion, more, more strategic, more thinking. Right now there are like 40-50 players and basically it's an endurance thing. You just keep camping. You can't move very much. Just make a stand and wait for the enemy to come into your sights. 
It's it's hard to make uh, to flank when there are forty people, and the front line doesn't move much. can advance a bit thanks to the smoke like my enemies and it's time to get out of here okay I'm going to the building and hide I'll also ignore that guy Troll here a bit, so somebody will have to get back and try to find me. If conquering stops, that means there's only one guy. Only one guy searching for me. Maybe I'll help him. Okay, more than one. Yeah, well, I need to be slower. When I'm in a hurry, I tend to die. I like how the battlefield implemented snipers. I mean, you've got the scope, visible scope from a distance, so it's not like you are being killed from don't know where. So, it's making things fair. It's hard to engage when there are so many friendlies I need to pay attention all the time and inhibit myself from trying to fire at everything that moves. That also makes me slower. Less people on this server, but... I don't like this map. Well, let's see what I can do. Ah. Too late. A sniping helicopter with, with an RPG is kind of fun. side so things are easy well think things are easy when I'm paying attention like right now trying to predict the enemy moves and firing in advance I don't want a helicopter, so I'm going to die now. I prefer using air strikes. And when you're lucky, you can have sometimes chain air strikes. But there are not many people here, so. Chain airstrikes are an easy way to rack up score. Enemy UAV 
I can't stand around uh, too much in one place. I get a kill, maybe two, and then I'll have to move because they will come and get me. Sometimes I get into situations where I move into a place and there are like a lot of enemies, like for example they respawn. And I'm thinking, I will get them all. It's awesome. But I can barely make a kill or, or two. So what I'm saying is pick your duels. Don't run to me into a group of enemies. Yeah, if I miss, then I'm running away. I'm not going to stand around. Better wait for them to come. <laughs> 